Praise the Lord. Welcome to a brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 and 8. We have learned that we need or we ought to put our trust and confidence in God. And when we do that, one thing we've picked is that we shall experience perfect peace. The second one is that even amidst challenges, you still remain fruitful, fruitful believers all the way, even during the times of drought, our leaves will remain green to the glory of God. The third thing we learn when we put our trust and confidence in God is that uh, we receive the courage to witness. We receive the courage to witness of the doings of the Lord, to witness of who God is to one another. Courage to witness. This is a good thing. And we see this in the book of Psalm 73, verse number 28. The psalmist says this, But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell of all your deeds. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell of all your deeds. You see, the Bible in verse number 5 and 6, Jeremiah 17 verse 5 and 6, talks about that person who chooses other things, other sources as his or her refuge, as his or her confidence. But in verse number seven, talks about this person who chooses God to be his refuge. And it starts by the word, but blessed is the man whose trust is in the Lord, whose confidence is in him, but blessed. In Psalm 73 verse 28, starts with a similar word, but the psalmist says, but for me, if you read the previous uh, verse 27 says that those who are far from you will perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, but as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge, but as for me. And he tells us now the third thing that we have picked that we receive courage to be witnesses of the will of God. He says that I will tell of all your deeds. Being in the Lord, putting your trust and confidence in God gives you the courage to tell of all his deeds. We receive that courage. We receive that grace because we have put our trust in the Lord. It's like every other person finds other ways to follow. But as, a, as the psalmist, we come to a point of saying, but as for me, I will put my trust and confidence in God so that I can tell of all his deeds. We become true witnesses and not just true witnesses, Witnesses full of courage, courage to face any situation, courage to tell of all his deeds, courage to stand on what God expects of us, courage to move on even when the situation dictates otherwise. So we receive this courage and we become true witnesses of all his deeds. He has done great things in our lives and so we cannot hold this anymore. We have this courage and grace to tell of all the deeds of our God. And all this comes because of putting our trust and confidence in God. Because when you trust other things, other scenarios, you will not have this kind of courage. And wonder the psalmist, unlike verse number 27, he gets to verse 28 where he says, but as for me, 
It is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. Not just being near him. I have made the sovereign God my refuge. And so by this, I receive the courage to witness. I will tell of all his deeds. Praise the Lord. If you want to receive courage, put your trust and confidence in God. You'll be a true witness of the doings of the Lord, a true witness of the saving grace of the Almighty God. God bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely time. Shalom.